Hi guys and welcome back to Motor Joshing. So I've been nominated by Fantomic uh, to actually do the Gable Falls. So uh, you guys have no doubt by now seen the format. Um, essentially it's uh, for some reason five questions I guess. Um, and uh, you have to give four answers to it and it's just a bit of a fun thing. Um, so I thought I'd go for it. So the first thing is what is your favourite four foods? Um, so in the world of food, which I am a particular connoisseur slash fan, um, being the slightly overweight bastard that I am. Um, so first up, uh, definitely Scottish breakfast, not English breakfast, Scottish breakfast. But that's normally with a potato scone and a bit of haggis on that breakfast. Um, maybe even sometimes a fruit scone um, but it's kind of like uh, and tie scone and stuff um, if you don't know what I'm talking about you don't need to know just if you ever see it just get it and you'll you'll know and you can thank me later it's not a problem uh, second to that would be steak uh, for shizzles steak is tasty we all know why um, only ever cooked rare though um, generally I want to know that a good vet could bring it back to life so literally slap the cow's ass and send it in. I'm pretty much happy with that. Um, so yeah, that's steak for sure. Um, second, well third, sorry, um, is actually kebab. I genuinely like a Donna kebab. Um, not even, you know, to have as a, you know, after drink bevy uh, type soak soaking up kind of deal no 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 I'm actually I'll happily order a kebab soba with no hesitation get in my face nom 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 and the fourth there's got to be Nonna uh, my Italian grandmother um, or Nonno even for that matter um, this bag ball um, it is phenomenal Italian people you know they just know how to get this stuff done so definitely uh, the spag ball of uh, you know my family I guess um, so yeah that's definitely the four so drinks uh, one gonna be coffee for sure um, I'm fueled by caffeine and inappropriate thoughts so in general uh, caffeine is very important to me so uh, yeah uh, coffee definitely the first one um, I'm, I'm a regular latte drinker but I don't mind a bit of vanilla but Nothing too special, I don't need anything too ridiculous. Um, so further to coffee would be Monster uh, Energy Drink, but I'm going to go blue. Um, I actually like the sugar-free one. Um, and uh, I find that actually quite uh, to be a tasty morsel, so that's definitely on my list. Third one is probably water. Um, I actually drink a lot of it. But fourth, but definitely not last, is Aquarius Lemon. Now, Aquarius is basically a still uh, kind of uh, Lucozade made by Coca-Cola. Um, you can only get it in Spain, so far I've seen. And um, it is delicious, to the extent that every time I'm in Spain, uh, I uh, go and buy some and try and stick it in my luggage on the way back. Um, because it is a phenomenal, tasty, tasty drink. Um, I discovered that one while I was on pilgrimage in Spain. I've done the uh, Camino de Santiago um, medieval pilgrimage. I've done a couple of different routes. Uh, you know, I'm just so cultured and stuff. But uh, yeah, it's the drink of choice for those with a real thirst and uh, good for getting the... Uh, electrolytes back in you um, and uh, yeah so that's definitely on my list uh, okay so next uh, places I've visited uh, one of the greatest visiting trips um, that I've done is the the French route on the Camino de Santiago as I was discussing a second ago um, so that's a, a medieval pilgrim route and uh, no finer way to see Spain I can assure you than uh, 
walking across it, um, you know, as the old medieval pilgrims did, um, before you think I'm starting to sound like a religious nut. Uh, it's not the case, I didn't do it for religion. I did it for banter. Um, but anyway, enough about that. So definitely Spain. Um, uh, I would also say Portugal, probably the second. Um, Porto certainly, it's just a beautiful place. Um, and uh, really cool. Uh, third, mm, probably Florida. Um, I was quite lucky as a kid to go out there uh, a few times. Um, and you know, you can't beat the theme parks and all that goodness. Um, and uh, even sort of a couple of shuttles uh, going off when I was a kid as well. So the, the whole mix of that kind of thing, but being a bit of a space nerd as a child, um, can't really beat, uh, you know, seeing NASA and it's. Uh, doing its finest work so uh, yeah certainly yeah you can stay there pal um, so yeah Florida and other places uh, I've been all across Europe and stuff but um, I'd actually probably say Boston um, I was lucky enough when I was uh, student president of uh, the university that I managed to convince some people that they should send me to America to experience university life um, and to see how the Americans do it so that we can better uh, learn and uh, enhance the student experience uh, better and um, if that sounds like the kind of bullshit you would buy um, then thanks because um, you know they sent me I uh, got to go to uh, Boston and uh, check out all the universities there, so um, Yale, Stanford, uh, not Stanford, sorry, uh, Yale, Harvard, uh, MIT, University of Massachusetts, uh, UMass, um, heaps. I went to, like, it was about 12 different unis and um, enjoyed all the fun that goes along with uh, Greek houses, which are the fraternities. Um, so that's what I was there to do and to check out and uh, yeah it was definitely an experience um, totally you're just gonna get a wee photo yeah and uh, I shall continue on in a second so anyway and continuing on a couple of cheeky little snaps for the Instagrams um, so yeah so um, yeah party in America in the frat houses, um, got to see uh, Harvard versus Yale football game as well. Uh, it was pretty cool um, and definitely a funky experience. Um, so yeah, that's probably top four places. Um, so places I've lived, well, uh, the first would be uh, that I can remember at least. Anyway, I think I was somewhere else when I was like one or two or whatever. Abitridu, but um, yeah, so pretty much Lambrach, uh, which sounds like a mouthful, but it's actually the name of the village that I pretty much grew up in until I was uh, close to 16. Um, uh, otherwise, nicknamed the Brad, um, which is in South Wales, uh, just kind of outside Kafiri, um, and then shortly after that, I actually moved into Kafiri um, and then uh, came to Aberdeen. So. I've lived in different places in Aberdeen, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, Aberdeen for the last, uh, yeah, 14 years. Um, so, that's not quite four, um, but uh, that's basically the gig. So, um, uh, so I think the next four were nicknames. So, four names people call me. So. Um, I would actually start off with my secret first name, which isn't the name, it's on my birth certificate, but it's not the name I go by, um, and that's Daryl, um, so that one, um, but it's only for official purposes, but I've always been known by my middle name, which is Josh, it's actually Joshua, but you know what I mean, um, always been known as Josh, so that's that one, uh, my other one would be Cap. Uh, I'm not going to allude to any reasons on that one because it would probably give away absolutely everything about my identity, not that it's a particularly massive secret. Um, I'm not particularly all that precious. 
Uh, but anyway, um, so yeah, and then the fourth one I would probably go with uh, due to my many, many, many years of playing that wonderful game that is World of Warcraft. My character name from that, which is Snapblade. Um, so I would imagine those are probably the top four for that. So uh, I, I know I'm now supposed to nominate, um, but uh, honestly, I'm like two weeks behind on motor vlogs. I'm not sure who the fuck's been nominated, um, so I haven't honestly got a clue. Um, so I'm going to leave it open. Um, and I know that's a cop out, but honestly, I've been having a bitch of a couple of weeks with the breaks and uh, also events that will become very clear to you after Saturday's uh, vlog coming up. So uh, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to call out there, but I did manage to get my game of fours done for Phantomic, so I'm. Uh, gonna just call it quits while I'm ahead and uh, I'll catch you on the next one guys, ta-ta, bye-bye